Well, the war between Israel and Hamas rages on tonight. Thank you so much for joining us on Action News 5 at 10. I'm Kelly Cook. Over 1,000 have already been confirmed dead on both sides of the border. Thousands more injured. Tonight, Action News 5's Walter Murphy joins us live with an exclusive interview with Memphis Rabbi Micah Greenstein. So, Walter, what did the rabbi have to tell you? Well, Kelly, he told me that actually right now he should have been in Israel. However, while he was waiting for a nonstop flight from Atlanta to Tel Aviv to board, he heard the news that the war had broken out. And now he's struggling, just like the rest of the world, to understand that unspeakable evil, as well as he's trying to, he's also sending prayers to all of his brothers and sisters in Israel. A surprise attack. Beginning with thousands of rockets fired at southern and central Israel, and then waves of armed Hamas militants making their way into the Gaza Strip and marching Jewish families through the streets of their neighborhoods, barefoot and zip tied. As the Hamas militants stood over the bloodied bodies of their victims. This is about evil. This is about being able to know that wherever you live, you can go to sleep and not be terrorized. Rabbi Michael Greenstein from Temple Israel in Memphis should have been arriving in Israel on Sunday night with several other members of his congregation, all in a celebration of the seven-day Jewish festival known as Sukkot, which is marked by making a pilgrimage to the Jewish homeland. We were at the airport. Many of the travelers were when they canceled the flight because of war yesterday. As of Sunday afternoon, the death toll in Israel had climbed to over 700 people, with around 2,100 others injured. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken announced on Sunday that American citizens are believed to be among the dead. President Biden also sending a strong message to Hamas that the United States is and always will be by Israel's side as several U.S. Navy ships inch closer and closer to the conflict zone in defense of America's strongest ally in the Middle East. America is Israel's greatest ally because we share the same values of democracy and freedom and a civilized society, not a dark one that... Uh, leads to what happened in Israel yesterday. Now the rabbi also told me that the uh, Israeli Red Cross is in desperate need of donations. We're going to put a link on our website to that as well as other ways you can help the people in Israel. Reporting live in Memphis tonight, I'm Walter Murphy, Action News 5.